Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multi-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4k in the great state of Texas. We're using item number 16 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. Let's check our answers together. So we have a group of people. We've got 64 children and 24 adults. They're going to travel to the zoo. They're going to go in vans and there's going to be eight people in each van. So how many vans are we going to need? So this is going to be kind of a tricky problem. First we need to figure out how many people are going. So the only two numbers we have for the total number of people are going to be the children and the adults. So what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a picture here. And I'm going to make a strip diagram, but I'm going to kind of make it in a strange way. So my hole is going to be up on top. I just don't happen to know what my hole is so far. I'm going to put my 64 children. And then we always need some chaperones and some parents and teachers that want to go. So we've got the 24 adults. Put those together and you have all of your people that are going. And then there's going to be eight people in each van. So what we're going to do here to make our strip diagram is we're going to say we get vans of eight. And then the question is, how many vans of eight does it take to get all of these people? Well, if we look at it this way, you could probably see that what we're going to need to do is first add up the 64 children and the 24 adults. Let's see how many people we have. 64 children, 24 adults, simple addition problem. Oh, there we go, that's 88. And so we're gonna to need to take our 88, and this is gonna be a division problem. We're going to divide, because we have eight people in each van, and each is gonna give us kind of a clue that we're gonna either do multiplication or division. And if we didn't see that word each in there, when you have equal groups, so we have eight in each van, so that's an equal group of eight. That equal groups is also another clue that we're looking at multiplication or division. So I say multiplication or division because what we can do is we can say, well, 88 divided into vans of eight is going to make how many vans? Well, that's the question. Or we could say blank number of vans of 8 is going to make 88. So we can either think of a multiplication fact or a division fact. But what we can do here is let's just put, I'm just going to put 8 little lines over here. We're going to pretend these are going to be our vans and we can just divide up our 8. Now rather than going ahead and just doing it one at a time, I'm going to do sets of 10 here. You know what? I'm just going to just write 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And I knew I could do that because I know my 10s facts and I know that 8 times 10, that's going to make 80. And that's really close. So I think all I need to do is just do another 1, 80, 2, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. Yep. So you could have done it one at a time, but also it's going to work with 11. So when you're trying to figure out these large numbers, go ahead and take out big chunks like fives or tens. And so our answer is going to be 11. We know that if we want to set it up like this, we know our two digit by one digit multiplication, eight times one is eight, and then eight times one again is eight. So our answer is 88. How do we get some of these other answers? Well, this 80, what happens is if they took the 64 and the 24, added those up to get 88, and then they wanted to do something with this 8, well, if you subtract the 8, which doesn't make any sense because you're not subtracting 8, but if they just took that number and said, let's subtract it, well, then that's where that 80 is going to come from. And you could get 8 two different ways. One way you can get 8 is just by looking at this number and just pulling it straight down. Another way would be to divide 64 divided by 8 also gets you 8, but those are both 